Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to get this to work properly. Um, will you quit it for a second, Kelly? You're glutton for attention. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so sorry, Kelly. Where you at? <laughs> Poor girl. All right, so for whatever weird reason, this is not working. <laughs> Big shocker. It'd be too dang easy. So. My game source is offline. So why can't I stream to YouTube? Hmm. All right, let me fix something here. So apparently I don't need. All right, well. Give me one second here. Figure out what what to do here. My uh, so apparently my original setup is not gonna work. Oh. <coughs> okay. Now we're getting close. crazy how much better this camera is than my uh, regular PC camera. But whatever. Make her work now. Okay. Bert's turn. Who's he on around here? Rebellio. Now my audio seems all beefy. What is that? Hi, Dart. What do you want? Up. I think we have. I think it's flight class next. So. See, this is what drives me nuts. Um, the camera location is not very ideal. Um, honestly. Come on here. Let's see if I can fix this and make it better. Stall up like in my hands, kid.
off right now. Well, I can't really figure that part out. Okay, so we got another the down or a house token. I think we're pretty close to having these all found. Yeah, I'm going to We're going to get a flight class. Let's clip frog. Rebellion. As long as my others. Now, my image quality seems really poor. Rebellion. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. What are you so out of whack right now? Mr. Clopton, sure. your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And 
If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms ah. are school ah. property. I think I'm getting I the want hang them of returned this. in one piece. Yes. Good. And lean. Hmm. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? All right, let's just keep things a little simple. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Huh, that wasn't too bad. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Oh, too bad. Very easy. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Oh. Ah. Ha! Good. I've got this. Racing. No way. Now it's coming. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high flying adventure? I can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as... Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and jaunts around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. Have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. 
class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. If I could afford the new Bright Spark broom at Spint Witches, I'd be on it now. I wish I could afford my own broom. It's over using my brother's hammy downs. Spint Witches is open in Hogsmeade. I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been tutoring me after class. Although she is very strong. Madame Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Gryffindor should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Nice. <clears throat> so, I gotta fix my setup here. Um, Uh, like I'm back to using my PlayStation camera now, just for whatever reason, uh, the software I was using. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea of somewhere working. you can focus on your studies so, away from prying eyes and distractions. Um, yeah. What? Oh, what? what? The no. Whoa. Bathroom, okay. All right. Well, well, he has no idea where to go. Um. But yeah, I'm back to using my Revenge. PlayStation camera now for this, for whatever reason. The OBS. I But I do think this camera is mm -hmm. much better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rebellion. I have enough money to buy a broom. Can't somebody let me come here for things I want? Okay, that door did not open up. I think we're gonna learn our first dark spell. Here's Voldemort's ancestor again. Over here! Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. 
Revelio. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. So I need to experiment with my potion making and everything. <clears throat> So that's what those are for. Nice. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my Rebellion. sister. Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. All right. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. Good for you. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get it. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Incendio. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, 
I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. So what I don't get is, how's this place below the defense against dark arts? And the Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. <laughs> Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Confringo! Rebellion. Do a little bit. I'll probably just fast travel there. Might as well buy a broom while I'm out here. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that pool. There are a few students here I'd like to help us out. <laughs> Rebellion! <laughs> Oh, 
Hogwarts hasn't been the same since Black took over. Lucky for us, we have Professor Weasley. Really prefer not to Rebellion. Rebellion. Oh. Uh, the seek of finding things. Never knew what you might miss. There's so much going on in this game. Rebellion. I haven't a clue why there's such a button button on my ass tonight. Accio. Good for you. Incendio. Leviosa. There's how many witches. I hope you. Afraid to take a hit, are you? The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Keep your body Come Franco! Ready to take on! You would appear at all! took a big hit to the head. Revelio! That's the crazy part. I thought I had a little jump. I don't know if it's fairly high. I have a few more to complete yet. Rebellion! Yeah, it's pretty easy to get sidetracked. Um, yeah. This is always something I can come back to and do again. Revelio. It's 
do this side quest here. For the sake of time. So I have a Merlin's quest here, but I think I need Malice Sweet. This is where I need to put a little snap. It's very minimum damage. Rebellion. Get these Merlin quests done that way. I don't have to worry about this stuff. So it's probably something super. These rocks have seen better days. Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Accio. I figured it was an outhouse, but I wasn't really expecting that. Some of the details they include.
Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Revelio. What can I do for you today? Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. out of the way we'll wrap up this clip and next time we'll look at the get a good look at the broom selection here. let's see Revelio. Professor Weasley? No, this isn't the quest I wanted. I wanted a side quest. Mm. What the hell is this about? Somewhere away from prying eyes. Okay. Well, this isn't what I wanted to do. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Dang it. Yeah, progress is progress, but I wanted to do that delivery quest first. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might Rebellion. stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? 
The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move Revelio. on. Revelio. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Ravel yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Revelio. Akio. This isn't as precarious as it looks. Rebellion. No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Rebellion. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Akio. Rebellion. Okay. We 
hope that house elf can find us in here. Revelio. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. Hmm. Well, sir, I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. I believe I have two items. Black ribbon and flowers. Okay, nice. Rebellion. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very productive stream, Very good. though. When Three conjuring spells. more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. 
I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Never seen someone so messy. He's literally eating one and dropping ten. See, I guess I gotta go with what I would like. I guess we'll do this one right now, since they're all the same. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms mm. in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room.
can't. Uh, I can't do. Actually, I'd more to teach you about transfiguration. If you have a moment. All right. Well, let's call that a wrap for now. Um, Since this is directly YouTube, uh, I'll have to see if I can fix it soon. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Okay, well, we've got another side quest, so... <laughs> I've more to teach you about One after the other, so... Alright, we'll see moment. you guys next time. Uh, I can't guarantee what we play next time could be arm simulator this or call of duty i'll see all right